Hi folks, uh, Mr. Math Blog here, and we're going to do some more dividing here. We're going to divide one-digit numbers, more of place value right here. So, so place value, uh, we're going to do some more place value uh, using our properties of operations and using uh, multiplication and division with this, okay? So trying to tie this into our common core standards here. So uh, this is uh, the common core standard that this uh, deals with. So NBT means numbers and and operations in base 10, so numbers and operations in base 10 right here. So we're going to divide uh, whole numbers into some quotients right here. So, so here we go. Let's try one. Example one. Uh, Davis, Kayla, and Nolan are all putting their money together to save up for a new computer. So far they have saved $525. If each saved the same amount, how much did each save? Okay, so this is going to be another division problem. We're going to take uh, 525 divided by these three people right here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and write it like this. And I'm going to re-show you how to, how to uh, the regrouping method just briefly, and, and then we're going to tie that into the, the place value here. Okay, so step one, uh, we're going to use place value to place the first digit. Okay, so the first digit is this guy right here. That red five right there is in the hundreds spot. So five hundreds can be shared with three groups without having to regroup. Okay, so remember when we did this, you guys, these are blocks of a hundred. I just shrunk them up from the last video. So here's my 500 right here, 525. Okay, so these are my tens right here. All right, so so these hundreds, you guys, I can share a hundred in that circle. I can share a hundred in that circle. I can share a hundred in that circle right there. And I have two left over that can't be shared. So what's going to happen is, how many of these hundreds did I share in my three groups? I shared one of them in each group. So a one's going to go right there. So three's going to go into 500 one time. Okay? So, uh, so the first digit in the quotient right here, the first digit, that one that we're going to talk about, is in the hundreds spot because it's right above the 500. So it's going to be in the hundred spot right there. Okay, so let's divide the hundreds. Okay, so three goes into 500 one time because each one of these circles got one. So I'm going to go ahead and put a one right there. All right, and then uh, so we're going to share uh, the, the 100 equally among the three groups. Okay, so each of them gets one of these 100 blocks in here equally among the three groups right there. Okay. I think I'm done using those pictures, you guys. Okay, so now we're going to multiply 3 times uh, the 100 right here. Okay, so that's going to get me 3 right there. Okay, so 3 times 1, or 1 times 3, I'm sorry. And then, and then we're going to go ahead and subtract. We're going to subtract the 500 minus this 3 right here, and that's going to get me 2. Now this is 200. That would have been those two blocks left over. That's these two blocks right there. Okay, so that's what that 2 is right there, is that right there. Okay, now I can't share those two blocks again, uh, so check. The 200s can't be shared with the three groups without regrouping, so I'm going to have to... Um, uh, I'm going to have to break down those two 100s into 10s, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and slide this 10s down right here, and it's going to make it 22 10s. Okay, so if I, I mean, if I went back to this picture right here, um, this has 10 10s, this has 10 10s, plus the two 10s, so there's going to be 22 10s, okay? So when I uh, bring down that 2 right there, there's my 22 10s. I broke down the, those 100s into 10s into right there. Okay, so we regrouped them into groups of 10s, okay? So that made us 22 10s right there. All right, so uh, step three, we're going to divide the 10s now. So I'll share the um, the the 22 tens equally with the three groups. Okay, so imagine if I had 22 tens right there and I'm going to share them with the three groups. Well, I can put seven of them in each of the three groups because seven times uh, three is 21. Okay, so I'm going to multiply uh, seven times the, the uh, or the three times the seven tens right here and then go ahead and subtract right here. So 22 minus 21. Okay, and that gets me one ten left over. There would be one ten left over. Okay, so the 110 can't be shared with the three groups again, so I'm going to have to break this 10 down into 1s. So I'm going to slide this 5 down, and when I slide this 5 down with these 10 1s right there, that's going to get me 15 1s. Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to slide the 5 down, and now I have 15 1s, and now I'm going to share those 15 1s 
um, with my three groups. Okay, so then uh, I'm gonna so uh, you can put five of them in each circle. So five times three is gonna be fifteen. I'm gonna multiply five times three right there. Okay, so three groups with uh, five ones, and that's where I get that fifteen right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and subtract. And I'm going to subtract uh, the 15 ones minus the 15 ones, and there's zero left over. Okay, so um, so my answer is right up here, 175. So to answer it in the context of the problem, remember it was it was Kayla, Davis, and Nolan. They were all saving up money, and so each has saved 175 dollars towards their new computer. All right, now. What I want to uh, remind you guys is that division and multiplication are inverse operations of each other. Some people say opposite operations. That's okay. Uh, and so what you can do is you can use multiplication to check your answers. So what I can do is multiply 175 times the three uh, people. So if I multiply 175 times three, it should get me 525, which is their total amount. So if I did three times five, that would be 15. I'd carry the five right there and put the 1 up there for the 15. Okay, 3 times 7 is 21, plus the 1 is 22, so a 2 would go right here next to the 5. Put another 2 up here for the 20 part, and then 3 times 1 is 3, plus that other 2 on top, so you get 525. All right, now let's try one uh, without all the pictures right here. Let's go ahead and divide 8,327 divided by 8. Okay, so let's set it up like that. All right, so I'm going to divide the thousands right here. So 8,000 can divide, be uh, shared among 8 groups by 1. They can put 1 in each group. So look at the place value. Look at the thousands in the 8,327. 8 is the thousand spot, so we can share it without regrouping eight time, or 1 time in the 8 groups. Okay, so the first digit that I'm going to write right here is going to be in the thousands spot. So a one's going to go right there in the thousands spot right there. Okay, so there we go. Divide the thousand. So so eight divided by eight is is one. So I'm going to put that there. Okay, and then what do I do next? You got it. I'm going to multiply these two numbers, eight times one, and that's what's going to uh, go right down below that. Okay, and then I'm going to subtract. Okay, eight minus eight is zero, and then I slide down the hundreds. Okay. So I have three hundreds. Now how many times can three of the hundred blocks be shared in the eight uh, groups? None of them can. I can't do any of them. So what I'm going to have to do is put, uh, uh, i got to put the zero up there for the hundreds right there because I'm in the hundred spot right there. So then I multiply because I can't share any right here at this stage. So then I multiply eight times uh, zero. Zero times eight is this zero right here. And then I subtract. Okay, so now... Um, uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, I still can't share the 300 right here, so I'm going to slide the next number down, which is going to make them into the 10. So that's going to make 32 tens. All right, so now what I'm going to do is divide the tens. All right, so this 32 tens divided by 8 is 4. Okay, so then multiply 8 times 4 is 32. All right, so then I'm going to subtract, and I get uh, 0. Slide the next number down. So I have um, uh, zero tens left over, and I have seven ones. All right, now I'm not done, you guys. I still have to divide. How many times? How many times can I share these? How many ways can I share these seven ones into eight groups? I can't. Zero ways. So I have to put a zero right there for my place value right there. Okay. So there's going to be. So you got to divide the ones, and it goes in there zero times. And then, then you go ahead and subtract, and, and I'm done. I don't have any number, other numbers to slide down. So seven's my remainder, but just be careful. You got the zero right there. So the answer is going to be 1,040 with the remainder of seven. All right, I hope this uh, helps you guys. If it does, uh, go ahead and uh, like this video. That would uh, please me. Take care, you guys.